Yoga is a fascinating practice. Millions of people around the world practice yoga every day. And millions of people question the value of this practice. When it comes to my personal wellness and health toolbox, diet and nutrition stay on one side as a well understood and heavily discussed topic, while yoga sits on the other side as an important tool that is not well understood and is rarely used. A few years ago I noticed that many of my friends were talking about yoga, and it seemed like everyone was doing it. So I decided to try yoga class and experience the benefits of yoga for myself. I signed up for yoga session, got dressed, went to the studio, began practicing various poses. I felt like a spiritual guru from ancient India. Looking ahead, I must admit that the result of my first yoga session was terrible, but I'll discuss it later. As time passed and my wounds healed, I devoted more time to researching and practicing yoga. Over time, I began to appreciate the numerous benefits of this practice and understand why there is so much confusion regarding its benefits. Ok, what is yoga? Yoga is a holistic practice that unites the body, breath and mind. While this definition may seem generic, it can lead to confusion. Some people assert that yoga can effectively address a wide range of health issues, while others are more skeptical about this overall effectiveness. So before we'll talk about yoga benefits, let's disassemble yoga practice into simple, well-known elements. In essence, yoga is a combination of three elements – meditation, breathing, and stretching stability and sometimes strength exercise. In fact, yoga originated as a relaxation and meditation practice, with breathing being one of its primary elements. Effective relaxation and meditation require proper breathing techniques, right? Since yoga was introduced to the West in the 1890s, physical poses involving stretching and stability have been gradually added to the practice. Today, yoga incorporates not only meditation and breathing, but also physical postures or asanas. As we break down yoga into its three components, it becomes apparent that its benefits stem from either the meditative and breathing aspect or the stretching, stability and strength aspect. The meditative and breathing component of yoga offers several benefits, including reducing anxiety and stress, boosting immune function, promoting better sleep, and improving mental clarity and focus. The stretching, stability and strength aspect of yoga also offers numerous benefits, such as improving flexibility and range of motion, building strength, especially in the core, enhancing balance and coordination, and improving overall physical fitness and cardiovascular health. While meditation focuses solely on mental training, and physical workouts such as running or cycling focus only on physical training, yoga offers a holistic approach that encompasses both physical and mental training. This is why yoga is often attributed with numerous health benefits, leading to some confusion. Actually, the well-rounded approach that addresses both physical and mental needs is the primary reason for yoga's surge in popularity and continued growth. So what happened during my first yoga class many years ago? It was embarrassing. I ended up falling asleep. And the reason I fell asleep was because two key components of yoga, meditation and relaxation breathing, had a common effect. Additionally, since it was a beginner class, the poses were quite simple, like balasana, and didn't require any effort. To my surprise, the instructor and other students didn't disturb me, although I do remember their chuckles after waking up. It was embarrassing. Anyway, that was my first experience and it's in the past now. Ok, I have a couple practical ideas for you to begin practicing yoga. First, you can practice each yoga element separately – meditation, breathing and stretching stability. If you're interested in learning more about meditation and breathing techniques, we have series dedicated to these topics. Another idea is to try a guided yoga session by following a YouTube video, since a ton of high-quality videos are available there. The good thing is, yoga requires very little – a quiet space and a mat. Finally, you can try a yoga session at your local yoga studio, ensuring that you select a practice that fits your individual needs so you'll not fall asleep like I did. I hope this video helps clarify some confusion about yoga and its benefits. If you like this video, give us a like and leave a comment. Even a simple comment like, 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 I didn't know that the term yoga originated from the Sanskrit word yush, which means to join or to unite, will help our small channel grow. So, practice yoga and stay mentally and physically strong. Namaste, my friends.